I know there were a lot of people that you wanted to thank. It was so obvious how much he meant to the hockey community right away when everything, you know, kind of broke publicly. What has this experience been like for you? Obviously, I, I'd imagine the loss is devastating, but the response has been, I mean, tremendous to see from the outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's never something that I hope anyone goes through, and it sucks that my family's going through it. Um, but yeah, their response is, was, it was incredible. It was, uh, it's sad that, that we sit here and talk about their response because I wish it never happened. Um, but I've accepted that it's, it's happened and, uh, and to have the people who did show up and who did reach out and who still are reaching out and are still checking in and sending flowers and sending food to my parents and driving by to see my dad and my mom and checking in on Kristen and Bo and Mac and and um, it's incredible. It's you don't realize how much how many lives my brother touched. Uh, he was a special person. Um, I know we all love our siblings and when they're gone. You, everyone says, oh, he was the best person ever. They were such a good, they were such a good guy. They helped everyone. Uh, and sometimes people just say that because it makes them feel better. Um, but in this situation, it's, it's something that's really true. And um, if you were friends with my brother and you got to spend time with my brother, you honestly had a better life. You really did. Um, it's, uh, it sucks that he's gone and, and um, he'll never be back, but um, I'm thankful for a lot of memories I have with him and I'm thankful for other people who got to spend time with him. And he, he truly was an amazing person. Um, and just to, to, to see and hear from the hockey world was was insane. Like I said upstairs, some of the guys who reached out are guys I, I I don't really know that well, and and just to see them text how much they've heard about my brother or a certain story they've had with my brother, and um, to kind of read those texts. And I mean, I still go through my phone and read certain messages, and I have so many memories and so many letters from from people and Instagram messages. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of rattling on, but. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it was insane, the support from the hockey community. What, what stuck with you of all the responses that you got? Was there anything that really stood out to you that, that moved you through all the darkness of it all that kind of helped you? Uh, yeah, I mean, just hearing certain stories. Like at the beginning, I couldn't really listen to anything. And, you had all these podcasts, like major hockey podcasts, people going on telling stories. And, and uh, I mean, it was very comforting hearing, hearing some people just tell stories about my brother and how he's touched their lives. Um, people like Dave Portnoy, like he's telling a funny story that is, I never even knew about. And I've spent so much time with both of them, my brother and Dave, and I didn't even know what's happened. Or Patrick Maroon coming up and telling my mom that, your son changed my life. Like it's, it's stuff like that that is really sad, but it's, it's very comforting. And um, someone that's really been helpful for me is uh, Brian Burke. Um, he lost his son. He works with the Penguins, and uh, he's been amazing. He's, he sent me a long letter. Uh, I received it yesterday. And, and um, it's just really nice that other people have dealt with this kind of stuff, and you can kind of lean on them to to help, they'll help you get through it. And um, like I said upstairs, uh, I don't think my life will, will ever be the same ever again. Um, but it, it makes it a lot easier for me when, when I'm hearing stories and telling stories about my brother. We saw a lot of the flyers up at the services. What's been the response from, from the team, from Chuck, from AV? I know you mentioned it upstairs, but mm -hmm. um, how did the team kind of come behind? It's been amazing. Um, I mean, Chuck and AV have been incredible. Um, like I said, there's no playbook on how to handle this situation, and the way they have has been has been remarkable. And 
they're basically saying whatever I need to do, they're all in for me. And, and I'm not asking for much, honestly. It's just, I know some days I'll have bad days and um, more good days than bad days, hopefully. But, but yeah, they've been, they've been amazing. Um, and some of the guys that came up, everyone reached out. Um, it's not easy to get to Boston, especially on such a short notice. And just to see everyone there was, uh, was incredible. Um, I remember one of the Boston police guys came in when I was waiting in line during the, during the wake and they're like, hey, there's a bus up top and they can't get down, there's too many people. And I'm like, well, what's there a bus doing here? And, and uh, there was like thousands and thousands of people waiting in line. And, and then they came back and they're like, it's the Philadelphia Flyers. And I'm like, what? I didn't know this was happening. So, so obviously we got into the front of the line and, and uh, we couldn't get the bus down to the front, but, but uh, yeah, it was amazing just to see all those people come in and, and pay their respects and give them a big hug and um, have them tell me that everything's gonna be all right. And, and um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it was a crazy couple of days, but, but having this organization and someone like G showing up, seeing G in the crowd during my speech and, and uh, yeah, it was really cool. Uh, a lot of the guys that you're closest to on the team that I've talked to, as we've all kind of, I think, tried to check in from the outside have said through it all, you still, the majority of the time, seem to be remaining kind of relentlessly positive as much as you can. Between, you know, the tragic loss of your brother and the leg injury, how do you, how do you manage to stay positive through it all? Yeah, uh, I mean, the first couple of days are tough, obviously. You don't really know how to react. Um, but yeah, I mean, life, life is short. Uh, it really is fragile. It's, uh, you never know when, when stuff's going to happen. And, and I lived through that, uh, on August 23rd. And, and, um, I remember I was just driving by myself. I actually went and worked out that day. I didn't know what to do. Um, so I went and worked out with my trainer and and I was driving and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna live every day as positive as I can. And, and uh, I've been trying to do that. And we've had some setbacks in the last month or so, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna try my hardest to be as positive as I can.